what's up you guys? I'm Danielle and welcome back to DK Soul Art. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be a part of the DK Soul fam. And I'm back. I actually took a week off. Um, Cause well, it was my birthday. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take a week off and I was supposed to relax, but I kind of have been doing a digital commission, actually. Um, I don't know if I will insert like a picture, like maybe around here of like the progress, but it's not done yet, but it's getting there. But I figured I'd come back on here and say hello to you guys. And I wanted to say thank you to everybody that said happy birthday to me. You guys are awesome. And also, I believe that we have passed our 300 subscriber mark. Like what? You guys are insane and I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for subscribing. I love that you guys are here with me on my art journey. And yeah, let's just, uh, let's have some fun today. All right, so a disclaimer. This is going to be kind of like a, an experiment, yes. I'm thinking it's going to be an experiment. Because, you know, we do Dutch pours, we do ring pours, we do straight pours, all sorts of pours on here. But I wonder if you mix two different pours together. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start with a ring pour and then maybe blow out a couple um, bits, like in a Dutch pour. I have no idea if that's gonna work. I have no idea if it's gonna be pretty, but we're gonna find out. All right, so I will list all of the colors that I am using today down in the description below. I am going to be layering them in my blue Solo cup here. And this canvas is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped the edge canvas. These are the canvases I am always using, always raving about. They're really sturdy and you know, they hold paint really well. So highly recommend. Okay, so let's get into some paint you guys. what our cup should look like. Nice and layered. All right, so cross your fingers, let's do a ring pour.
the cup looks pretty cool. Oh, already I like this. Okay, I'm actually gonna take the butt of my brush just to give it a little swirl. Yeah, keeping them swirls. Okay, now, <laughs> now I'm debating if I should or not. Hmm. Maybe I will stretch it out just a little bit and then I'll blow out the ends. That could look cool. Yeah. That could look really cool, actually. Okay. So I'm just going to sprinkle the ends with some light. flow a bit better. I'm actually going to use my little swipe tool that I've made to spread that out. so gotta use our big muscles. Here we go. Okay, so now this part could ruin it, guys, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to blow out the edges. Hair dryer. Um, okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's weird. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to take my silicone straw. I'm going to play with the composition a little bit. See if I can maybe fix the center sun. Torch. Okay. 
Okay. We got some sellage working up in here. I don't know. I, okay. I kind of like it. Now I'm, I'm going to do some more swirls. Swirly do's. Because, you know, I love to do me some swirlies. What are those things called? They're like some kind of cell in the human body. I have no idea. I was never really good with biology or anything like that. But it kind of looks like, like one of those little cell things. I don't know, is that just me? That might be just me. That might be crazy. <laughs> but I kind of like it. It's super weird, super fun though, and I love the colors. And we actually mixed two, two mediums together. Do you think maybe if I stretch out the center a little bit more? Or should I leave it? I don't know. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, there's still a lot of paint right there. Maybe if I go off, I'll just go off this edge. Now I'll come back. Okay, I lied. I'm going to go off this edge too. She's a big one. So cool. to touch up some edges, maybe add a couple more swirly do's, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. All right, you guys, here is the close up of the Dutch pour ring pour mix. I think it came out really cool. Super weird, but really cool. Like, this is going to look so awesome when it dries. The details, I love them. There's lots of cells. Ring action. Mini cells. I, I think it's gorgeous. Okay. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.